You can find her in my freezer. <laughs> number two. Number two most sexiest of Pokemon. We have the low punny. Now I have some now I don't think this is official Nintendo uh art that we see next to the entry no, that I have on screen not. now. Not official. Yeah. But I do think it's a decent representation of of why someone would want to screw this Pokemon. Law Pony has like that pelvic, that backward like pelvic tilt where it's like holding its ass out, oh, and that explains begging. why all the furries want to like fuck it because it has like it's sticking its ass out. It's it's she's practically asking for it. She she's just act she, less sexy. Wanna, if she didn't want to get raped, she shouldn't have dressed like that or been <laughs> or been that Pokemon. So while we're in total fur territory, how how much fun would it be to fucking like drop acid and go to the fur fest? I man, I am so pissed about the whole fucking redacted virus that you're not allowed to name or you're gonna like get deplatformed from everything. Cause I was making plans to just do a bunch of drugs at the gathering and be with my people, but that shit got canceled. Whoop whoop. When's the Juggalo episode? Every show needs a Juggalo episode. That's something I learned. Uh, every, as long as I'm here, every episode is a Juggalo there episode. Go. There you go. Yeah, man. That'd be the perfect spot for IRL content. Broadcasting live from Agartha at the gathering. Yeah. Agartha in, like, Sheboygan. <laughs> or some field in Sheboygan. So, but then it's great. They already have the wrestling ring set up. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah. You can see Sabu like wrestle even though he's like sixty. It's true. He still still misses all his spots like the old days. <laughs> yeah, he still misses the table completely. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we don't we we wrestle posted too much on the last show. That's for our other podcast. Yeah, now we're we're fur. That's what we got to do. Yeah, now. We, we're 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 not wrestling fans. We're furries now. What's your what, um, what would your fursona be? My my fursona, I would be a liger. A liger. That's awfully specific. Yeah, because they, they can't breed, and I have erectile dysfunction. Mm, gotcha. Right on the That's money. That's why I'd like to bring up the sponsor of our show, Blue Chew. If you like sex, you'll love BlueChew.com. <laughs> Roll Tide. Uh, I'm picking I'm picking as my fursana, and I don't know if this quite counts, because it's not exactly furry, as it were, but I want to be a dung beetle. <laughs> because I'm eating you're shit every the, day. You're into the... Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, are you into scat some, play? Some scatological scatology, I'm a pornography scat or something? <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm I want to be a scatologist. I do. That I'm a scatologist. I mean, like, aren't furries all like wolves and foxes and shit? Like, that's yeah. a generic furry. The first so. furry that I ever met in real life was definitely a wolf. I met him at a Halloween party, and I immediately handed him a tab of acid. Yeah, I would never give a furry drugs because they're oh, gonna try and fuck me. My friend, it was a mistake. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't realize at the time. Uh, <laughs> this it was a crazy hey, cool party. costume. Costume? He was a cartoon wolf, and it was clear that this costume was very homemade. Very, very. It yeah. looked like it was oh. used like Crayola markers to fucking. It was terrible. But now the thing is. I'm the kind of guy, or at least I was, I don't know if I am anymore, but I was always the kind of guy who'd be like the last guy awake at the fucking party. Everyone else is all fucked up yeah. and passed out, but I'm all hopped up on acid and fucking DMT, and I'm still like chilling out drinking beers by the fire. It was me and the furry. We were the last ones left, and the most memorable part of the night was when, let me get this line straight. I don't want to fuck this up. He said, he said, piss in this cup real quick. I need some cinnamon water. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, he said it a bunch of times. What? He said it a lot, and I didn't know what he was talking about. And I don't know if cinnamon water is like a reference to like My Little Pony or something, because that's kind of what I was the vibe I was getting. He kept talking about cloppers and shit. And I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with fucking ponies. Oh god. And later on in the night, I had a bunch of fucking uh, nitrous chargers. And so I'm, like, carrying around a bag of fucking spent chargers. And I don't know if you've ever been there, but it just jangles around. You sound like Santa Claus. So eventually... You just, you just clink it. You just clink it, and people wake up and, like, turn their nose up to the sky. Well, if only. If only. So eventually I'm fucking tired, and I'm getting in my fucking tent, and I got my bag of spent chargers, and they're just jangling around. And I hear this the furry dude from inside his tent wake up and, and be like... Oh, who's got the chains? 
What do you think he wanted to do uh, with chains? What, what do you think this guy wanted to do with the fucking chains that he imagined were in his vicinity? The guy in the wolf costume. Oh, my God. It was a weird, weird experience. I, uh, last time I went to an anime convention was like a year a year before... What was it? It was 2019. I went to like the 2019 Anime Central. Completely spun off my ass on acid. Met a bunch of guys there that turned out to be like right wing. And so like some Viking looking dudes. Went back to their like room with them just to like fucking drink some beers. And they just like said, the hotel doesn't know I have this. And he just like unfolds an AR-15 and puts it on the bed. I'm like, oh, is this a Stephen <laughs> Paddock situation? Should I not be here right now? Like... <laughs> That's definitely what it was. You're almost in some sort of harvest. Dude, I really, I didn't give a shit. I was flying so fucking high. Was there a giant pyramid across the street? No, no, this was, this was, this actually was uh, near the fucking airport, funny enough. And this guy had a bunch of fucking guns, but.